Madison is going to walk us through some of the big takeaways from the autumnal equinox. Yeah, Ashley, I know you said summer is your favorite season. It's also mine. Now the autumnal equinox is the day when the sun passes directly over the equator. That means you'll get about 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. The term equinox comes from Latin, literally meaning equal night, but you might get a little more or less of depending on where you live. Now humans have been observing the astronomical for tens of thousands of years. Some historians believe that ancient monuments like Stonehenge were used to mark the changing of seasons. To this day, people show up at the ruins in the wee hours of the morning on the equinox to watch the sunrise through the gaps in the stones. Now, for astrology fans like myself, the equinox marks the beginning of the Libra cycle. The sign is represented by scales, and I believe, Craig, you are a Libra, reflecting the balanced day and night cycle. Do you balance us out, Craig? <laughs> hmm. Now, speaking of balance, you've probably heard the old wives' tale that says you can balance an egg on its end today. That's true, but it has nothing to do with the equinox. The feat is possible pretty much any day of the year, as long as you have an egg and a lot of free time. <laughs> Are you balanced, Craig? I, you know, I was say, that, is, <laughs> that is widely debated. Yes, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, I, I am it. a Libra, though. So You are a Libra. Uh, yeah, we're into that. Hey, there let's take a look at what's going okay. on with the equinox. I have got Ooh. this graphic here. You ready for this, Ashley? Oh, my goodness. I think you'll like this. Ooh. All right, so we had the autumnal equinox, and it took place this morning at 350. So this is the official start of fall. And while the calendar says fall, it is going to feel much warmer. The direct sunlight from the sun, the direct rays passing now over the equator. When we're in summer, those direct rays fall on the Tropic of Cancer. That's what happens during the summer solstice. During the winter solstice, they fall directly on the Tropic of Capricorn. And right now, and again, this is because the Earth's tilted on its axis, we're going to see the direct rays starting to shift farther to the south towards the Tropic of Capricorn. And that's why we're going to have our cooler weather eventually.